What is going on everybody? It is Dylan with Astro DFS bringing you a brand new video. Today's video, I'm going over some cash plays for week 17's main slate. So these are guys that you want to target in your 50-50, your double ups, uh, and your head-to-head -head matchups. Um, it's not saying that these guys are projected to be the highest um, projected scorers, uh, but just more of the higher projected owners. So uh, if you're doing a double up, you know, this is where the field is going to be on a uh, majority of these players. Uh, some may back out, some, you know, may go for it. But um, overall, this is just, in my opinion, where the uh, ownership is going to be at and some of the plays that I like with it. So Patrick Mahomes, yes, at 8,500, it is expensive. They are playing Denver's defense. Um, but you have to remember the Kansas City offense is something different. Uh, I think Patrick Mahomes at 8,500 is playable. He's uh, pretty much one of the, if you go and look at his numbers, one of the safest quarterbacks to play. Now, he might not get you, you know, 20 plus points, uh, but the majority of the time he does. Uh, and when he does, he does pop off, even against Denver in week 14, who he's playing now. Uh, and that was at Denver, their home this time. Gets you 25 points. Um, he is a safer play some quarterback that you uh will not get under 10 points from uh next is justin fields at 7900 uh going against detroit you saw what he did against detroit the last time on DraftKings. kings was over 40 DraftKings points against detroit here uh, another high total bears underdogs by six points uh some injuries to the bears wide receivers but they are expected to play nonetheless his rushing upside is crazy justin fields is trying to go for a record uh in the rushing department um and even though this is a road game uh it's still a better field than it was in chicago uh so i, I do like justin fields at 7900 if you can pay up for him then pay up for him uh next is aaron Rodgers here at 6000 um I would say Tom Brady. Tom Brady's on my watch list, especially a huge division game. Uh, but it seems like Tom Brady has struggled against Arizona or uh, Carolina. I apologize. Uh, but Aaron Rodgers here at 6,000 against Minnesota. This is a game that means a lot as well. Uh, division game here. Aaron Rodgers has not popped off fantasy-wise. Uh, but with how Minnesota's offense can be very momentum-based, uh, and we've seen them score 20, sometimes even 30 points, uh, a game, they, their defense also allows a lot. It, it seems like that team is very momentum-based. Um, when they're hot, they are hot. And when they're cold, their whole team is cold. Um, but this is a game where the Packers have to win in order to make the playoffs. Uh, so they're going to be, in my opinion, playing very tough. Um, if Minnesota's offense is able to uh, kind of get past Green Bay's defense, which has been pretty good lately. Uh, Green Bay will have to throw the ball. We haven't seen them be that efficient um, through the air this year. It's just a lot of miscommunication, a lot of not being on the same page, um, just lack of chemistry, all that stuff combined. Uh, but 6,000 Aaron Rodgers, I do really like him this week. Uh, Daniel Jones is another play yet again. Daniel Jones keeps ending up uh, as a play for me somehow, some way. Um, going against the Colts, who's very banged up uh, defensively, offensively. Um, but Daniel Jones here at 5,700 is a play that I like uh, against the Colts. Big advantage uh, for some of his wide receivers. Uh, so I like Daniel Jones. But Jared Goff is, as of right now, probably my favorite quarterback on the slate. Uh, 5,600 going against the Bears. Uh, you go and look at his numbers, or his number against the Bears, um, and only 14, almost 15 fantasy points, and it's nothing uh, crazy, but you're paying 5600 for a, a guy that's going to get you around that, if not more. Uh, remember, his wide receivers are healthier. Uh, Jameson Williams now um, getting more and more chemistry. I really like him in that offense. Uh, and then DeAndre Swift, Jamal Williams. Like, there's a ton of weapons there. Um, Bears secondary, as we all know, is very banged up. So Jared Goff, I think, is probably that play at 5,600. Now, some cheaper plays uh, to, I mean, I guess consider for the slate uh, is you get Desmond Ritter at 5K. This is not a catch. These are more tournaments. Uh, but Desmond Ritter at 5K. Uh, Sam Darnold at 5K as well. Uh, and then Trace McSorley at 4,900. Those are some guys that just take into consideration for tournaments. They're very cheap uh, and allows you to pay up for some of these running backs. Uh, like Christian McCaffrey, who I think is a 
another play that's a very safer play, and that's what you get for paying up uh, 9000 for him, uh, 8500 for Mahomes. Uh, one of the best matchups for a running back this week is playing against Vegas. Um, there's still a shot for them to make the playoffs. Uh, we don't know what we're going to get out of Stidham, um, but we know of how lackluster the Vegas team has been, in the, especially in the second half. No matter what they do in the first half, they usually bully in the second half. Uh, Christian McCaffrey obviously being one of the vocal points in that offense, especially with Debo Samuel out, uh, that makes a guy like Christian McCaffrey uh, that much more likable. We've seen George Kittle kind of explode uh, the last few weeks, getting some of the long touchdowns, even Brandon Ayuk getting involved. But Christian McCaffrey at 9,000 is one of the guys I like, uh, as well as Saquon Barkley against Colts. I mentioned uh, Unique and Godway is out uh, so that is a huge loss for the Colts. Uh, their linebackers are not very good, and we all know that the Giants play around Barkley. That's just how they do. Uh, so Saquon Barkley is another play that I like. Uh, I also like James Conner at 7,200 against Atlanta. Atlanta's been fairly decent against the run this year, but I believe with Colt McCoy now out, DeAndre Hopkins out, um, James Conner is a guy that steps up in this role. Uh, you go and look at some of his recent games, uh, and he's on a he's a guy that's on a touchdown streak as well. But it's the targets that he's gotten. Uh, and you look last week, Trace McSorley plays with him. He gets seven receptions, which meaning Trace McSorley kind of understands that he can't go down with the ball. If he gets it out to James Conner, there's a shot that James Conner does something. Uh, but McSorley can't get sacked and turn the ball over. Um, which he ended up doing, but James Conner at 7,200, I really like in this. Um, Arizona, I, I think, is like six-point underdogs now. I think it actually went up, so they might be six and a half, almost seven. Um, James Conner at 7,200, I really like that. Uh, so we keep going down and looking for more opportunities. Dalvin Cook as a name at 7,000, I think, is uh, very opter- um opportunist in this game against Green Bay. Green Bay hasn't been the greatest against the run. They've cleaned it up a little bit, but I think I still think overall uh, just very poor against the run. Uh, Travis Etienne, though, 6,400 is a cash play I really like for obvious reasons. He's going against the worst rush defense in the league, gives up the most rushing yards, and the reason they give up the most rushing yards is because they've just turned the ball over. They've been losing, so teams run the ball. That's obvious, but the Texans have been able to kind of pace teams lately. Uh, we saw them give a run uh, run for their money for Dallas and both Kansas City. Uh, Travis Etienne at 6,400. You can go back and look at his Week 5 matchup against the Texans. And that's kind of the first game where he pops off. You know, averaging 7.1 yards, um, 5 targets, 43 yards. Didn't get a touchdown there. But uh, since that game, you know, his numbers went up. He's been in a slight decline lately. Um but I think this is a game where he bounces back. At 6,400, it's kind of a great value. Uh, Cam Akers at 6,100 against the Chargers. Obviously, Joey Bosa being back kind of hurts my liking uh, for Cam Akers. But I think overall, he's taken over that running back position at 6,100 uh, and is a good play for that. Uh, we continue to go down. There's some names up here. Uh, but I, I think the value play that comes out is, one, you get the two Detroit running backs, Jamal Williams, DeAndre Swift, 5,300, 5,000. Um, we know how bad the Bears' secondary is, but the rush defense is just as bad. That defense is just bad. Uh, they're missing their key guys that they need to be somewhat competitive, uh, and there's not a lot there left defensively. So DeAndre Swift, Jamal Williams, uh, you could take a shot 50-50, and I'm okay with either one in your lineup. But Brian Robinson Jr. at 5,200 against Cleveland. Cleveland has been very bad against run, uh, the run, uh, allowing a lot of points to running backs this season. And you go, why is Brian Robinson Jr. a play? Antonio Gibson's out, which means it's Brian Robinson now. And we go and look and see who Washington has um, to back up Brian Robinson. Uh, and you get... Um, I think it's G. Jonathan Williams. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, but Jonathan Williams, I think Jonathan Williams will be involved. Don't get me wrong. Uh, at four thousand, I think he does get involved. It won't be just Robinson getting all of the work. But at fifty-two hundred, which is a very cheap for a running back that's expected to get a lot of good volume, uh, fifty-two hundred Brian Robinson 
Jr. is a play. And that's pretty much it for running backs as far as cash. Wide receiver, obviously, Justin Jefferson against Green Bay. Another guy that, uh, with some of the values that we have this week, you're able to afford these guys. Uh, Jared Goff, you're only paying 5600 for. Uh, Brian Robinson, you're paying 5200 for. And then there's values at wide receiver and tight end. So Justin Jefferson at 9500 yes, I'm playing him. Uh, I'm not taking a chance on Tyree Kill without Tua. Devontae Adams without Derek Carr, even though Stidham could be more beneficial for Adams, I'm just not going to take that risk. But Amon Ra at 7,800, Amon Ra is just putting up numbers. He's getting volume. Uh, we go back and look at week 10 against Chicago. 10 receptions, 119 yards. Uh, doesn't get a touchdown, but gets you uh, 25 fantasy points. So um, that's something huge in a game like this. Um a very good matchup. Remember the Bears secondaries banged up more than they were uh, in their first matchup. 7,800 uh, Amon Ross St. Brown is that play for me. Uh, Keenan Allen against the Rams. Obviously, Jalen Ramsey is going to be there and cover Keenan Allen every now and then, but you got to remember Mike Williams is there too and is just as good as Keenan Allen. Just Keenan Allen's a very good route runner. Uh, Mike Williams is just a guy that demands the ball. And I don't mean demand like, you know, he's fighting the quarterback, Justin Herbert, to get the ball. I mean, he is a guy that will get up over a, a corner, uh, his height, and get the ball. He will catch those. So uh, I do like Keenan Allen uh, at his price at 7000 I do like Chris Godwin, though, at 6800 I, I think paying down 200 more for a better matchup. Uh, Carolina secondary is now banged up. They're missing their best corner. Uh, but at 6800 Chris Godwin is probably one of my more favorite plays at the wide receiver position this week. Uh, another name, we get Brandon Ayuk here at 6300 uh, Vegas' secondary has been okay. I don't think they're anything uh, to be scared of, though. Uh, and we've seen kind of Brandon Ayuk have his up and down games. This is a game where if Vegas Vegas needs to win, so they're going to be fighting. Um, and if they are able to, Brandon Ayuk without Debo Samuel is a play that I like. Obviously, we mentioned George Kittle's gotten volume um, and getting some pretty good touchdowns. Uh, but I still like Brandon Ayuk there. Christian Kirk is another play for me at 6K uh, against Houston. Uh, Houston also banged up in the secondary. Uh, so a very good matchup for Christian Kirk as well. Uh, we continue to go down. Uh, Garrett Wilson at 5,500 against Seattle. Um, I, Mike White and Garrett Wilson are just a combo to have. Uh, it's a really good combo. Um, so Garrett Wilson, another good play for me. Seattle's secondary is kind of, they've kind of fallen off from how they originally started of looking very good and their offense was just able to put points up. Um, but Garrett Wilson, 5,500 with Mike White, yes. Alan Lazard, if Christian Watson is out, 5,400. I really like Alan Lazard in this spot. I also like Romeo Dobbs, but I think Alan Lazard is a more safer, uh, trustworthy play for cash purposes. And then we get these two guys, Jacoby Myers and Drake London. Uh, Miami secondary has been overall bad throughout the entire year, giving up a lot of yards, giving up a lot of touchdowns. Uh, and with Avante Parker being out, Joanna Smith being out, Stevenson uh, hurt, um, Hunter Henry hurt. Jacoby Myers at 5,000 means he's healthy uh, in a good matchup here for New England. Drake London against uh, the Cardinals. I get it. Um, Drake London is is not anything you know to be scared of this season, uh, but I believe this is a very favorable matchup here, especially that there's six plus point favorites in this game. Uh, Drake London, one of the most targeted receivers in the red zone, uh, one of the most targeted receivers in the league. And at 4,900, that just is a huge value for me uh, and a huge play that I really like. Uh, Romeo Dobbs down here at 4,700. I mentioned if Watson's out, I like Dobbs and uh, Lazard. I just like uh, Lazard a little more. Uh, and then we go down all the way to it, and I'm just going to click on the team and get them in last but not least, uh, is Greg Dorch down here at 3K. Without DeAndre Hopkins in, we've looked at some of his last two games where he's actually gotten in, uh, and he's put up 22.3 on the dot on both those games. So Greg Dorch, another good wide receiver, especially uh, value at 3K. And then we go to tight ends. So tight ends, I'm going to keep it simple. I like Cole Komet against Detroit, Evan Ingram against Houston. Uh, we continue to go down, and Hunter Henry 
3K against Miami. Those are my three tight ends that I like the most. Obviously, you could play Kelsey. Obviously, you could play Kittle. Uh, but for getting volume, if you want to pay up for your wide receivers, running backs, uh, if you want to pay up for Fields or Mahomes, those are my tight ends that I recommend. And then defenses, I'm just going to keep it simple there as well. 2,600 New England against Miami without Tua. That's what I'm going to go with. We all know what the Patriots defense and special teams units can do. Uh, we go back and look at their week one matchup four fantasy points um, in that. So uh, paying 2,600, that's I'm fine with a four point game for defense that has such great potential. So uh, that's it for this video, guys. If you did like it, please leave a like and subscribe. That means a lot to me. I will also have a video going out later today of the showdown. Uh, Sunday night showdown, so tune in for that as well, and I will see you guys in the next one.